I need to figure out how dream mirrors work now. Hello everyone, it's Katrius here and I welcome you to this new video. And holy hell, I'm still alive? Yes, I am! I say, while looking at this horrendous deck list of the new TCG, alright, not very new, but the newly supported TCG only archetype Dream Mirrors, which I have cooked up in like 10 minutes, had a very little amount of playtesting, and just, I just want to say, I like the concept of this deck, but I need to figure out how to make this work. The extra deck here is, um, mostly because I had scapegoats in my deck and completely forgot to take it all out and rethink the entire extra deck. But today my goal would be to figure out how to make this work and make this a d deck for me that I enjoy playing, possibly IRL. Because usually I just play Dino Orchest and that sounds cancer, it is cancer. But my locals are pretty competitive, so I have to bring something to the board, right? But I want to have some kind of casual deck too. And Dreamers, I just really love their design. But they have some very big problems. And with this testing and cooking session, I want to find out what the problems are, how to circumvent them, and obviously find out what kind of support this deck really needs in Ignition Assault to make it actually playable. Before we go that far though, let's just quickly look at the deck list that I have cooked up right now. Because, well, I actually put in some for the 10 minutes and I cannot actually, like, I can't believe it myself, but I actually put in some effort in Yu-Gi-Oh! after all this time. And this is not just the first time I make a Yu-Gi-Oh! video this year after Harmonious. This is also the first time I play online in this year after Harmonious. So let's see how we can do. But first, let's look at the deck list. We're working with Freedom Bureau of Primal Being, One Morpheus, the Dreamer of Dark Knight, or Black Knight. Two Phantasos, the Dreamer of Foe. Two Phantasos, the Dreamer of Friend. Three Ashes. Three Ecolos, the Dreamer of Mara. Three Ecolos for Dreamer or Sprite for Monsters. We've got one one for one, one terraforming, three cop of a grave, uh, one Dreamer of Chaos, three Dreamer of Phantasms, so three Dreamer of Terror, and three Dreamer of Joy. We got three Impermanence, one Dreamer of Fantasy, three Dreamer of Hyp Hypnagogia, and one Dreamer of Neuromancy as our main deck. And for our extra deck, let's let's be really honest. We just have the two Oneros, the Dreamer or Urking, the Baguska, which I made pretty often, and <laughs> Nightmares. Because everything else. Oh, also the Linkery. But the Linkery will cannot come up very clutch. So what I thought with this deck list is this deck falls apart on any kind of interaction. Like anything that your opponent can do to interrupt this deck, dead. Surrender. Go into next game, just don't try to think about it. Because this deck is very, very fragile, and that's the bi first biggest weakness that I have found in my playstesting so far. So, even. Th we want to go first, but even so, I want to play Free Nibiru, because if we go second, we can use this and not get blown out immediately. Also, we can use this going first, because we don't actually bring up too much to the board. So this can actually outboard going first too, which is pretty neat. The rest is just, you play 3-3 free free of Ecolos, that's pretty obvious. 2-2 two, two of Antazos is what I want to try. Um, just one Morpheus, and also the, only the black, because White Knight is bad. And you can just resummon it with stuff like a Phantasos friend. And honestly, you don't, you don't need to run more. You could run, I could try running two one day. But usually my uh, searches post um, turn 1 are mainly the spells and traps. Especially like something like fantasy or neuromancy or, or chaos. But all of this I think it's... I... I just think it's logical, you know? The extra deck obviously is not that logical about what can you do. I just cooked up this list, I put scapegoat in, put an entire scapegoat extra deck in, plus the two oneros and the three exist monsters. I don't even know why I put in Dullahan. Because Disdainful Word or, or Kikinagashi Kiki Fucho is way better than this. But whatever. We are going in 
and let's just uh, try to have one duel. So this is going to be live commentary. And if this goes wrong, what the hell is wrong with the deck select section? But if this goes wrong, then it just goes wrong. And our name is Field Spells Who? Because I couldn't draw any Field Spells in like 10 duels. But let's just see what we get here. I am very, very interested in how we can make this deck work. Or if we can make this deck work. If he immediately goes second, that means if we don't draw Nibiru and at least one hand trap, we're out. But we do have Nibiru and we do have traps and we go first? No, that's weird. <coughs> well, you know what they say, just normal summon Mara, set Hy Hypnagogia, and uh, pass, right? <laughs> That's the best we can do. We don't have any field spell in our hand or terraforming. So this is our field spell setup. They play true kings. Could this be with dinos or without? In any case, we can use Hypnagogia to blow up their diagram if they decide to actually play it. But since they start with Akhnamazood, it's Cosmos. Now that's interesting. Oh, I didn't Kaiju my Mara, that's nice. But why would you put a 3000 beater over my 500 thing? Alright. This is guy is gonna resummon Slip Rider, so he's gonna trigger to pop my Hypnagogia. Which is where I'll use my Hypnagogia to give myself a light field spell and him the dark. Or actually, I could make this the other way around. Alright, it's negated. Never mind me. Alright, this can also work in Battle Force, right? Perfect. Uh. If he ashes me now, I'm dead. I can't ash this. Um, do I really want to have a dark spell or a light spell? I kind of want to have dark. Yeah, dark is better. Because I need the one that the light eclos can work with. So, that's the important part, really. Because light eclos is coming out next uh, by just taking out. Like this. Please no ash, please no ash. It's an ash, we can surrender. <laughs> no, we can't really surrender there. We have, they'll not summon like five monsters, so um, any interruption is death. That <laughs> oh man, the deck selection is still screwed up like cray cray. Holy hell. <laughs> I did save one replay, we can look at that after this attempt to play the game, but it's easy to see that this deck is not going to do well in any case. We go first again, our hand is actually pretty good, except we don't have any cop of a grave, so any hand trap again will just kill us. We do have uh, my favorite combo though, which is light spell plus uh, Mara. So. I like this better than starting just with a light Mara, uh, just with a light Ecolos, because you can actually search your one disruption of a turn. Also, what I can theoretically do, but not now, I could go for um, this combo, and instead of going for Morpheus, because I don't run the light Morpheus, I can just use this to uh, proc Ecolos again, so this would be actually pretty smart. And then I could just use Dreamer of Chaos, I guess. So I'll search this instead. Set my Dreamer of Chaos. We also have Nibiru on our hand, so we go for a Neros. Yeah, we want to use Dreamer of Joy's effect. Put him a Terror. We don't want to use Terror's effect. That would be very suicidal of us, because then our Ikelos would have no effect, and we do not want that in our game. That's a blue eyes white dragon or a blue eyes alternative white dragon. Mm. Can only destroy monsters, so that's not actually a that's not actually a threat. Oh, white stone of Lego. Yeah, I wanna blow up my karma now. Cause if I don't, um, I'm pretty screwed. Because uh, the Synchro Monster can just kill me. But yeah, that's the combo I had in mind. Um, using this, searching anything really. In this case, I like to search Phantasms because it's just such a good card to search now. And I want to use 
just chaos immediately. By using Maram, Graveyard, Eclos on the field. And then I want to blow this. To put in our bow. So he triggers, then an Aeromancer triggers, and puts an end to the alternative. And that's all we can do for this turn. Except we still have Ash and Nibiru. But yeah, that's... This is just another... This is another case of a deck that plays more of your opponent's turn than mine, which I really liked about Chris Trons myself. So, um, that, that is why I, why I want to try to make this deck work, because this reminds me a lot of my Chris Trons. I might even try to put them together. That would be stupid. <laughs> oh, damn, he has Gospel. That's very bad. But if he destroys my own Neros, I can just summon anything back. He destroys my foe. Weird. That's what I expect at la the least, really. Expecting him to go for my Oneros. I mean, I could resum the card, but none of my cards with Graveyard still have effects. They've all used their effect. But we have Phantasms for setup in the next turn. I could already think about what to do in this next turn. There's a Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. And 300 damage to face. We could negate that, but why would we really? He, uh, he now has two blue eyes white ranks in his hand, so whatever. That's all from him. Okay, I wanna go into the light spell because then I can just immediately out this third ring. We did draw Hypnagogia. First, I wanna tag out Mara though. So we can trigger on Nerus and force him to trigger his Spirit Dragon. And we obviously Cham lock him because I don't want his third card in hand to be an Ash. Probably gonna go for Moonlight Dragon. No, the Azure Eye Silver Dragon. That's interesting as hell. Um, in this situation, it might already be okay to search for Neromancy, to be fair. Because this can just negate anything with Hypnagogia. And we do have Hypnagogia, which is very good. I do want to keep a fantasy in the deck for now. Yeah, let's just search an Aeromancy then. Alright. Uh, Nipper player can target dragon monsters you currently control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. But they can be destroyed by battle, which, um, which Phantasms will make possible for us. Uh, I don't want to ash my own card. Thank you very much. I want to search the dark phantasmos so I can summon the light from the deck. And uh, with that, I want to get a card from my graveyard to the field. Which probably just... Yeah, which probably just is a dark phantasmos. But, let's be real. We just want to fill our board here. Make sure that we can push for a little bit of damage. And just keep on fighting. We already used a light effect this turn, like light ecolos. This slightly special summons in defense position though. So I could actually Yeah, I could I could special this. Because this can then tag out into a light ecolos next turn because we will have both field spells. That's pretty good. We can also go for link place now, but we have no reason to do so. Just gonna set to get ready to run over. So it can still be the start. Destroyed by battle. Except this card is on the field. That's agonizing. Can target it. Just sucks a lot. But we do have a good board, so. The only thing we cannot negate is monster effect. That sucks a lot. But other than that, we are pretty much set. Um do I wanna use the effect? Hard to say, do I have both vanish now? No, I, yeah, I think I did. No, I do wanna check if I am allowed to please. I did have both banished, that was stupid. All right, we, cannot, we can hit it with Ash Blossom. What 
Okay, I also want to use Hypnagogia. We do, we are gonna Ash Bat, and then we're going to go for Hypnagogia. So I want to get the Dark Spell and you can get the Light Spell. These are last spells too. Uh, then I want to use this. Like once Dreamer go gets going, they are actually very potent, not gonna lie. If they get going, they do very well. Now I can chain lock again. Put it into this. I can still not target the Azure Eyes, which is very sad. But that should not matter too much to our place though. I could search for this now. Which is the only target for our Ecolos. So we have that. But I can already show you basically one of the biggest problems of a deck which is once you they really have a problem that is not seen in crystals that much which is getting out of resources very very quick even though they have a quite similar play style all right he wants to go he wants to actually get my cards now I do want to tag out one of the Ecolos so I can have Morpheus on the board to act, to just steamroll the next turn. But he's just gonna run over Phantasos, so... Why bother? He wants the Damash. Alright. I think I gotta tag out this turn. To my last monster. And into the Morpheus in my hand. I could pop now any card, but I can still not target this, and this is a targeting removal, so I would have to destroy my Dreamer of Joy, but that card's buffing my cards. With Phantasms. I would like to draw another Phantasms, I think that would secure me the kill. Damn. Now that's neat. One night. And one neat thing to note is if you um, if you have Link Reaver out, uh, Link Reaver also um, can trigger on arrows because it it triggers on any tribute. So it also uh, and Link Reaver tributes itself to um, put an attack to zero. So yeah, this triggers just throwing a card on the board, just any card, which is very potent. But this served as like a way to show how how this deck works if it goes uninter uninterrupted. Obviously we were playing against 60 card blue eyes. But yeah, I think I'm gonna save this replay. Just so we can see it in a possible montage soon. But yeah. So how long have we, have we been going? 18 minutes. So I can just give up my thoughts. So yeah, we've just played like one duel and one interruption to uh, to concede. But since we, since I was able to tell you about one of the biggest problems of this deck in the last duel, it is recurring, like um, getting cards back into your deck because you burn through your through your deck so quickly. Honestly, Jar of Everest would not be a bad pick in this deck. <laughs> not gonna lie, Jar of Everest would make probably a lot of sense in this deck. But it's hard to cut cards because uh, you, I kind of need the Nibiru because <laughs> if I go second I just die. And Ash Blossom and Impermanence are just the best secondary, like the, the best general hand traps in the game. Nibiru is just usually a side card but in this deck it also works as a main deck card. So generally speaking this deck would need an asset. Probably something in the extra deck that is easily summoned, like a Link Monster. A Link Monster would also be nice because having a Nairus in the extra monster zone blocks up possibilities with the Link Karibo combos because, well, you cannot really summon it in that case. But imagine um, <coughs> Dreamer is getting another Link, uh, or just one Link that lets you shuffle three cards from a graveyard, like three Dreamers from a graveyard of a deck, unless you draw one card. That's like a Link 1 or 2 with abysmal stats really but it's not about the stats it's about you being able to recur cards which is a big problem of the deck because if you can't recur cards what you gonna do right so 
practically speaking, you would need a way to survive longer duels because this deck is meant to be a control deck. It feels like a control deck and it plays like a control deck a lot. And I really like this deck's play style. I like decks that play more in the opponent's term than in my own. Hence why I was known as the Christron main of the entire world. That's very... That's very putting it high, isn't it? But yeah, this deck just needs something to survive longer duels. Because if that duel against the 60 card Blue Eyes player would have lasted like an, one more turn, two more turns, I would have died because I had no monsters left in my deck except like my three Ashes and two Nibiru's. No, two Ashes, two Nibiru's. And that is a big problem. You also have a problem that you have to run free of each field spell, which would be easier if you could recur them easier than just a fantasy which is a trap card which also requires you to have a face of monster on board which also doubles as a great removal and a great protection so it, this is an amazing card not gonna lie but probably having like something like hypnagogia just with banished field spells would be great so your deck would not be stacked because you right now you have to play free phantasms free terror free joy free hypnagogia like Free Ecolos Light, free Ecolos Dark, at least 2-2, two, two, at least one of this. Like the, the deck core, the frame, I, I like to call it the frame. It is really, really like set in stone right now. It could be uh, re reduced by certain things, but generally speaking, you want free, 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 and that's like just already. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 cards you definitely want along with this which is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 because you need the field spell search. Usually you also want like metaverse or uh, set rotation is also a good card. Actually I don't like set rotation but I just run Hypnagogia because well it's just set rotation and searchable for this deck and you just Want to have all this, and you have to play Call of the Grave because you die to each hand trap. You have to play the mirror because you die to going second against a singular negate. You also, I would like to play two Dreamer of Chaos, but I cannot, I cannot afford it. This deck has a great potential. Not gonna lie, I feel like this deck has great potential, and I really want to figure out how to make this deck work fluidly, and that's something that can only be achieved by Konami giving us great support in Ignition Assault after this very very nice support wave in uh, in Chaos Impact. If we can get that, that would be very very cool. However, that is something that is set in the future, more than three months in the future in fact, so we just have to pray like we had to pray for the time feed support and never arrived. But this is the second wave of Dream Mirrors. And the third wave of Dream Mirrors, if we get one, could be a really crucial one to make this frame work. To, to paint this frame golden. And I am really looking forward to it. Also, I'm gonna try to make a montage of this deck, but I don't... I, ca I cannot promise anything. Because I've been out of playing for so long, I don't even know what's interesting anymore. But for so long, I have been Akatrios. This has been a very long video. My throat is hurting. Not actually. My throat is actually very fine. But <laughs> I've wasted 25 minutes of your time. 24 to be exact. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And stay Raven.